Hate Collective. Um, so I had already smudged. I was doing a test video just because I had to get a new um, camera. But this one seems to be working good and I like the way it looks too. Things just look a lot more clear. Um, yeah, so I'm going to pull the current energy. Um, what song was I hearing? Um, it was by Jelly Roll, okay? And it was Liar, okay? So Liar. Liar energy, okay? Secret enemies exposed, okay? So somebody has recognized that um, they had a secret enemy, okay? Um, there was ulterior motives to why they were who or what they were in your life, who they were in your life. Worker, this person could have worked for you. Damn. Or... You could have been the worker, okay? Put it how it fits. Arrest. Somebody wanted to arrest somebody that was working for them or arrest somebody pertaining to their work, okay? Because of their work. Um, that is why. Escapism. You got away from these secret enemies, okay? You discovered these secret enemies and then you escaped the situation. System. work system I'm hearing there's a method to your madness there's a method to your madness no ambition huh arrest no ambition So somebody could have lost their ambition because they feel like there's going to be an arrest held back. So these secret enemies were intentionally holding you back. So you recognizing them for who they are um, and getting away from them. Oh, I'm also getting that like these people, these secret enemies, they were acting as if they were helping you escape from something, okay? Something that would have held you back, okay? When it was in fact, that's why you have to listen to what people are telling you, right? If these people are telling you that someone's going to help you back, you'll have to escape a situation or why, why you shouldn't do something, why you shouldn't move forward with someone else, okay? They do have a, like a secret agenda, ulterior motives, okay? Listen to what they're saying that that other person would put you through because that's exactly what they're doing, okay? By saying that someone else would do that to you okay you understand like i always listen to what people are telling me especially if it's pertaining to somebody else it's like how how do you know how do you know okay and how how do i know that what you're telling me you know isn't fixed i don't care if you got papers or not fuck i don't Anybody, anybody could know anybody to make that look good. You know what I mean? Like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'll judge. I'll, I'll decide. I'll decide. Right? Somebody could be in that energy. Like, I'll decide. Bravery. Brave. Worker. System. Okay, so I'm getting that somebody um, who works in the justice system, okay? They are above local um, detachments, okay? So they're above the RCMP, whatever that is. I don't know what it is. Um, anyway, these people, these people who work in this system, um, they, um, they, are, they are seeing someone as brave, Okay, I'm hearing system buster, system buster. Okay, your work is they, they take one look at your work, 
okay? And they know the motive, okay? Maybe it wasn't the first motive, but it's definitely a predominant thing is that your work exposes their system so these higher up people are seeing you as brave to continue working, okay? Um, they see why these people tried to have you arrested. They've discovered these people's secret, okay, that they are the enemy, okay? Because if you have this type of corruption in the system that is a threat, okay? It's a threat to society, right? It's a threat to any, anything, anybody. Nobody, nobody who is innocent should be watched like that. And the fact that you guys are profiting off of it is it's disgusting. They see you as the enemy. Okay, they see you as the threat. Um, you were you were maybe calling this person a threat because of their bravery within their work. Okay, and then you manipulated the system in order to like have this other person look like the enemy. Have this other person look like they have secrets. Okay? And then when this person would, would like, things would like chill out for this person, you thought that this person was going to be able to escape from this, this system that you guys created to hold people back, to profit off of them. <sighs> to arrest them falsely so that they have no ambition in life to ever find out what the fuck actually happened right because you beat them down you beat them down you beat them down you beat them down i forget what i was gonna say anyways you're the fucking enemy and these people are recognizing it they're recognizing this this person's work this person's ambition to continue working this person's bravery they're seeing this person as very courageous okay and 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 just very credible okay i'm hearing incredible okay so it, it's incredible what this person was able to escape every secret enemy you implemented you bribed you manipulated right with finances you're not going to be able to escape this situation just as much as you held this person back that's how held back you're gonna feel okay if not now in the near future like this this threatening terror terror um narrative that you put upon somebody is the exact one you're about to inherit when they find out that this person is brave and is just has just been trying to escape something that you put upon them you're continuously holding this person back it's not fair it's not right okay this person feels as if they don't have any rights as if they're um, privacy is, is non-existent, right? Always having very intrusive people trying to set this person up. Uh, I don't know, man. This is fucked. I don't know. I, I, I keep getting this energy, right? I'll keep speaking on it, okay? Because I am one of the people who is going through this. <sighs> Yeah, they wanted to ignore you. They wanted you to have no ambition so that everybody would ignore you or you would feel ignored. You would feel not important. Um, your bravery would not be recognized. Like this system beat people down, man. Where there is zombies out there with no ambition in jail or in a men mental institution all zombified on the meds that they're on. Or dead somewhere. Or like trapped in a fucking room in the fucking ground.
while their like children are like getting videotaped for fucking pedophiles like some sick shit okay when i was in the dream state i saw that stuff they were like categorizing these kids on the videos that they were gonna make it was so sick i just wanted to cry when i woke up honestly They only clean these kids up when it's their turn to, to, fuck sakes. This something's unavoidable. And someone's trying to avoid, deny, they're like in denial about this problem. Plotting in reverse. So somebody is caught plotting. Plotting health records. Or somebody could have reversed what they did to your health records. Plotting health records. That's no longer their plot is the health record thing. To say that you're spreading something, that's no longer the plot, okay? Because these people know that you are abstinent or that I am abstinent or that you protect yourself. Unique. Okay, the way that you expose these enemies, okay, and escape this situation from being constantly hold, held back with these pe from these people, these authorities that work in the system, okay, um, it, there's a very unique way, like, this is very, it's, that's why it's incredible, okay, that's why it's incredible, um, there, there isn't, there isn't anybody who really, um, escaped being held back like this yet, okay, um, like it's, it's exact, it's, it's like this, these people came for the wrong one. And it's because they were lied to about my character, about my ethic, about my drive, my ambition my will, my willpower, my inner strength, they were lied to, okay? They were portraying my character as if it was who they are as a person. So these people thought that I was, um, what would you call it? The perfect target, right? They have a system, there's a strategy, right? And you need to fall into a certain category to even be like a, like have like a green light on that person because um, you don't want to get caught, right? Because then the, the entire system is not a secret anymore. Then all of the captors, captives are, they've escaped. And then these people are held back, whether in prison or wherever the fuck they go after that, right? Um, so the person who lied on you was a part of this system. They were like a, they were like, um, what would you say? They were like a street worker, okay? Like they would bring information back off of, for from information uh, of information from people in the community. Somebody was also like it could have been somebody who was attached to this person. They were also the person like the muscle. Okay, I'm hearing the sniper. Or like the shooter or like the, the person you call to kick some ass. Because this person like they don't, they're not, they don't have um, something about their conscience. It's like non-existent. Like somebody was lying on someone and then ignoring the fact that they have no ambition. That the reason that they're setting that person up to be arrested in the first place is so that they can just have a quick come up and ignore the fact that they have no ambition. <laughs> oh, damn, what the fuck?
um yeah it's crazy the amount of of revenue okay that people of power i'm not going to say in particular okay but people of power think about it okay how much slush funds come from missing and murdered women and children okay you understand that this system is fucked a large amount of that money okay a large amount of that money comes from the demise of missing and murdered women and children sex trafficking pedophile rings shit like that it's disgusting it's fucking sick man and i was a target for it okay Mentor, gang stalked. Gang, being gang stalked is conspiracy, right? People working together to con like they conspire something, right? Whatever it may be. Split personality, two faced. They're acting as if they should be a mentor. Um. A mentor for like some evil shit though. Somebody could be getting initiated. Boredom, bored. Bored in the house. No passion. Scorpio. Release. Somebody doesn't want to release you. Release in the reverse. Somebody also got bribed that they wouldn't be released at a certain time. If they didn't do something. Okay. Awakening. Unwelcome. So somebody's awakening to the fact. That, finally awakening to the fact that they are unwelcome in your energy. Not now, not ever. Never in life. Overindulge. Payout settlement. So you could be coming, you could be running into money, getting a payout or a settlement. Um, and others are trying to awaken people to the fact that you overindulge and that you shouldn't, this shouldn't be yours. <laughs> like what? It just, this is going to get them looked into, okay? Be careful. Be careful what you say about people, right? Especially when it's pertaining to money. Because these people are looking into this person's money. It's like one, two, okay. They're really easy to connect the dots when you like um, put your two cents in and act as if like um, you know what's best for this person. When you've proven that you don't want what's best for this person, okay? You'll get looked into. Good for you. Fucking good. <laughs> good. See the signs? Somebody could be having an, an awakening, like a real one, okay? Not like this other person, but like a real awakening or real awakenings, okay? Just by being a witness, a bystander, okay, to this situation. Um... See the signs. Awakening to the signs. Premeditated in reverse. Uh, someone's discovered that you were a part of the plot. And that's why you're unwelcome in their energy. You know this. They know this. You're just coming to the recognition. You're, you're finally awakening to, you're finally seeing the signs that this person knows that you were a part of the premeditated plot. That's why you're unwelcome in their energy. So somebody's finally recognizing like, oh, like that's why this person doesn't mess with me anymore. That's why this person doesn't talk to me. That's why they cut me off. Right? Totally appropriate. Um... And somebody's acting as if they didn't. Okay? You know it. They know it. Just get over it. Exposure in the reverse. Somebody doesn't want this exposed. 
that they overindulge in something, something sexual. Like, someone bought something messed up with, with some sort of payout money. Manipulation to deceive. Talked out of a course of action that would have benefited you. I'm getting like somebody's, somebody's um, secret enemies, they were like friends or family members, okay? They knew that somebody was getting a payout or a settlement eventually, and they manipulated you to deceive this person. They talked you out of taking an action towards them, okay? Because they knew that it would benefit you. They, they said that this person would expose you in a certain way, um, but... This person is completely respectful, okay, in the way that they present their work, especially to the people who are connected to them closely. This person is very private, very confidential, okay? Even if this person, say you're a reader, um, say, say I give somebody a reading, I, that information doesn't leave between me and that person. I only read for me, surrounding energies, and the collective, okay, for a reason. I don't do personals. I feel like they're intrusive. I feel like I would have been better not knowing that, right? Like, um, I don't like, I don't like giving people that type of access to me. Um, so these people manipulated you down a path to have look at this person as like unwelcome like make tell you things about this person awaken you to things about this person tell you to see the signs about this person okay whatever they thought that you don't like whatever they thought that you would have your walls up to your guards up to um to have this person unwelcome but the thing is this person premeditated in reverse they weren't plotting. They weren't plotting on you. They weren't. It's actually these people who knew that this person was going to receive money eventually, okay? And they didn't want this exposed. That they were in, overindulging in stolen money off you and this other person. <sighs> that was a confusing one. I hope I explained that um, where you can understand. And my, my microphone was going like quiet and loud and quiet and loud last reading. So I'm, I hope that it's okay. So you guys should let me know if it's okay. Intention cleanse. Okay. So somebody may need to do like um, a cleansing meditation, right? Where you cleanse your chakras. Um, I like, I like to do that a lot. I give myself treatments, right? I'm actually supposed to be an energy healer, like healing with the touch, right? And I just haven't been able to. Well, I studied it a little bit. I have my cards in the shed, um, but I haven't been able to practice or get to even think about wanting to um, register for a course because of all of the being held back, right? But I'll, I'll give myself energy treatments, right? I'll, I will, I'll like cleanse my chakras with, with my mind and, the and my hands at the same time. It's really effective, really effective when I combine the two. Um, investigation. Somebody intended to have you investigated. Investigating this neglect. So you could have been investigated for neglect, okay? Um, God knows I was. Um, and I was arrested for something that I did not do. That was intentional. That was intentional. Okay, somebody could be getting cleared from this. Like something's getting cleansed. Like your, your, your name, okay? And these people intend... To create a new invest investigation for the same thing on this clean person. 
okay so that's how the roles are reversed here that intention okay that's that backfiring of intending something upon someone who is clean who is innocent and neglecting to investigate these other plots on this clean person so like that is the backfiring of energy that is the blowback okay i just saw in my mind's eye someone with a shotgun and the the ass end of the gun was at their at their cheek okay what's that gonna do that's gonna give you a black eye <laughs> a weak belief system intuition so you have a very strong intuition like your intuition tells you things i remember like growing up i would i would think things okay they just come to me i'd think them and they'd happen okay i didn't know that that was my intuition but I, I just knew that I was very good at calling things. I was I, like, people would give me information on certain things. And I'd be like, you know, I think it's this. And, and sure enough, it was that. Okay. Um, so just trust in yourself. These people with weak belief systems, they're going to gaslight you. They're not going to tell you the truth. They'll deny till they die, okay? I don't know how many times I heard deny till you die. Um, they're empty. They're spiritually lack. They don't know. They're, they believe more in voodoo than they do in them, themselves, than they do in the most high, than they do in anything great. That's the reason they do this sort of energy work to begin with, is this lack, this lack of confidence, this lack of, of thinking that they are worthy, of thinking they are strong enough, okay? Um, and they are, and everybody is. Everybody is capable to do that. Like, even if you have any sort of... Um, ailment or disability you still have that ability we're all born with that same thing in our brain right that same gland and it, that that allows us to be have that connection right that allows us to have these intuitive gifts this intuition we all have it okay i was talking to this disabled um, girl at, at the park this summer, okay? And she was telling me her favorite thing to do is to just watch and talk to the ghosts in her house, okay? She was spiritual, okay? And she was very disabled. I don't know what her disability was, but she believed she believed, okay, in spirits, and she was telling me all about them, and I was just so amazed. I was just like, she was just like, are you scared of that? And I'm like, no. She's like, oh, people are usually scared when I talk about that. You know what I mean? So it's like, if you think that you're, you're weak, you're not. That is a seed that somebody planted and you're, you're allowing it to grow. You're watering it. But even thinking that that is true. Okay. If, if, if people with like, if people who have like um, mental disabilities can, anybody can do it is my point. Okay. So start believing in yourself. And quit listening to whoever is telling you that shit. Okay. I remember feeling like this. And I had to start believing in myself. I had to start loving myself. And I did. And when I did, there was like a huge sense of empowerment. And things started just working properly. When I cut that person off, that person that was making me feel weak. Lesson. Pain and suffering. A lesson on pain and suffering. Unfaithful. Somebody's learning that someone's unpa unfaithful, okay? And they wanted you to suffer. Harmony. They could have wanted you to suffer because you're unfaithful. Okay? They could have just been in your life um, 
to to just always be that person on the on the back burner so that anybody you are connected to from this point on suffers just like they did are stuck with an unfaithful man or woman just like they were okay this brings this feels like it would bring them harmony it would bring them balance to teach you a lesson okay but it's nobody's job to teach anybody a lesson like that it isn't okay and they'll get their karma so if you're around somebody and you've been unfaithful to them there's a lot of pain and suffering in this relationship what are you doing why are you trying to why are you trying to learn that lesson over again what are you in there for fucking round two nine what round is it twelve fucking knockout <laughs> that's that's damn somebody could be dealing with domestic violence um Um, make sure you really learn that lesson, right? Um, because if you don't, you're going to be in for more pain and more suffering. This person, they will lie to you to have you be manipulated, right? Sorry without changed behavior is manipulation. This person thinks that you're weak. This person wants to teach you a lesson for exposing them for the pain and suffering that they put you through, all the while being unfaithful. They feel like it would bring them peace to learn you a lesson. Like, if somebody needs to recognize that this person doesn't love you, that's not love. Love doesn't hurt. Love in, empowers, okay? Love is, is unconditional. Love is supportive. It's peaceful. It's comforting. That ain't love. Like, a, as soon as you recognize that, as soon as you learn that lesson, it'll be harmonious, okay? There'll be no more pain and suffering because you're quitting being unfaithful to self and loving self. Um, I'm going to maybe pull a couple cards and then I'm going to call it a night because I'm tired. Did I write something in here? Nothing new. Nothing new. I'm seeing catfish in my mind's eye. Catfish. Oh, I saved that. I knocked it over to begin with, but I saved it. It spilt a little bit. A little bit. But my dad's laptop is right there. I'll be right back. 